Only if he's speaking verbally. If he's speaking verbally, it's up to him. Would you like a giant banana? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like us to come right now? Yes, please. <laughs> That's five. It, yeah. That's five. It's it, it's, oh, thank God. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he did out out of his trance, like. <laughs> Sinclair needs our help right now, and it's very important to him that we bring this with him. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important that we bring the giant banana with him. I thought that was consumed in the spell. No, 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 it's, no, no. no. <laughs> if this, I bring another. I don't want to have to go through getting another one. <laughs> okay, we plane shift to plane Grom. Shift. In Claire's location. On yeah, the it's, okay. it, it's, it's just uh, on top of him. Exactly. To the destination that he asked us to play shift to. Okay. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> um, you arrive at Sinclair's location um, just in time, basically, to see him and four Roman hunters. Um, Dispatch one very mean looking crystal Grauman as three more of them, uh, three more of the crystal people are vanishing. Vanishing? Yes, vanishing. You okay. see them and then they vanish. How? They teleport probably. Magic of some kind? Okay, uh, yeah, I'm just asking like, the, uh, like vanishing into like. Like the shadows or teleporting? No, as in like vanishing, as in like teleporting or something. Do they magic. run like that often? <coughs> uh, do you ask Is Sinclair I... that? Yeah. Uh, I speak to, I, I, as I'm walking out and they're vanishing, uh, I go over to the body and I begin praying. And uh, I speak to, I speak Grahman with my hands. Uh, it's a bunch of hand signals and... Ooh, wow, wow. Sounds like gorilla noises, basically. Uh, and then he turns towards you. It is gorilla noises. He turns towards you and he goes, um, Every time they fall, they always vanish. Oh, so it was dead ones who vanish, not alive ones? No, no, no. They'll, they'll usually come as a group, but when one of them falls, the others will retreat. Yeah, I, I, I Oh, I can... Hmm. I can Mr. help you with that. Mr. X will hug, Miss uh, Sinclair. I go over... He, he sort of looks at him. And there's a moment of... Like, who the fuck on, is, who is this? Yeah. And then he and then he realizes, oh, it's it's Mr. X, and he hugs you. Who yeah. else would have like a fifteen foot banana? <laughs> <It's true. laughs> it's, yeah, and and crystals uh, sticking out of skin, like. Well, he's, I miss you. Sin Sinclair's seen lots of people with crystals sticking out of their skin. Oh, true. Uh, and I actually stopped the the other soldiers from. Yeah. Trying to kill the, uh, trying to the kill the crystal guy. Yeah. 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 I say, you know, hold up, put my hands up. Uh, he good, all that. Yeah. Uh, he good. He good. He, he that's that's good. the shorthand. Me speak language. <laughs> yeah, that's basically yeah. That's, that's basically all drama is. Is it's actually common, just spoken one word per sentence. Yep. Oh, yeah, exactly. I can I can mark a new language on my sheet. I say, uh, <laughs> it's good of you all to come. Um, we've been fighting for a very long time. Every day they, they take the captured Grumman and the Hato Z, and they create more of these creatures. Do you know where their base is located? The other half of the island, the fourth half of the island. What do you mean? Okay, see, I look. I saw that. I saw that look. You're like, huh? The, the four. The fourth half of the island. Sorry, the fourth 
the fourth of the island. Yeah, the, the, quarter, the, the, the quarter, quarter of the world, I think is the word you're quarter of the, the quarter <laughs> of the world. <laughs> the fourth. <laughs> yeah. I didn't the, get a lot of sleep last night. Do you, do you know the name of the leader on the planet? It's Sanshara. I don't know the name of the dele delegate. I assume... <laughs> It is just simply another crystal being being controlled directly by Sanchara. Hmm. Sanchara, it's been very nice meeting you. But you don't know what has happened out in the world, and I'm sure Tia will tell you right now. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> He's just so, be like standing out in the back. Just yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> like, Mister's like, no, I don't want to tell you the bad news. She will. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you the bad news. Yeah. The Vodoni are invading. The giants are invading. Sanchar is invading. Uh, this Black Legion thing is invading. Isn't that what they were called? The Black something or another? Black Void Legion. The Black Death. Army, yeah. Black Army is invading. Probably somebody else that's invading that I can't think of the name of. And then there's probably another one that we don't devils. even know about yet. Oh, yeah, the Devils. <laughs> the main fucking thing, man. Come on. Well, I'm sorry, okay? And the Devils. Shit's fucked. We need your help. But we need to help you. And, and there's we'll like seven us. groups of people that want to kill your friends because of reasons. Oh, they're really irrelevant right now. They really are. Um, but, you know. They really are. Uh, hmm. If we can help free this planet of Sinshara's influence, can you all help with uh, fighting abroad? My soldiers are well trained. They know the ways I that. that I've taught them. But you don't have many of them, you are aware of that. Yes, we don't have many soldiers. But we don't have enough equipment. Oh, that we, we can weapons. help with a lot, yes, in 17 days. They are shipping now, just coming close to you very soon. But uh, until then, I don't see a reason why we can't help you retake the people here. I can stop them from teleporting away. Once we, you know, start fighting, I have a nice little sword here that will stop anyone cut by it from running from me. These, these people, they look like me. What are they? They are... Well, they're not you. That's pretty obvious. I, he just sort of looks you up and down. You're much more different now. I, I've, I've regained some of my memories and I remember more now, which means I'm more like myself, but we are many. Uh, now, Casey, if I remember correctly, uh, from what you told me, they have a hive mind? These do, yes. Yeah. So he says, um, they are more like you before, but they have a hive mind, uh, directly controlled by what I assume to be Sanchara. Now, now that you are all here, you are all great heroes. Best thing that we can do is to strike at the base of where Sanchara put his base of operations down. Take him down root and stem. We cannot keep attacking them like this in small patrols. They eat away at us every day. If we go to the fourth of the planet and we go deep where he once planted his ivory tower, hopefully we can find his base and we can destroy whatever it is. 
that is keeping them and creating them. Can we silence them, cut them off from whatever's controlling them, at least locally, somehow? Is that possible? It's a possibility. I just don't know how it would happen. I'm not someone who uses lots of magic. I look I, over at Valiad. I, I am going to just say, for the purpose of of what we're doing at the moment, um, between the group of you there, within the next two weeks, you will have no problem stamping out the forces on this world. All right. So I'm not going to make you actually go through all of that planning, uh, because in the bigger picture of things, that that's a minor battle for you. All right. Okay. Sounds good. Now, would so I? We destroy, we destroy yeah. with free gram for free gram yeah. for freedom. <laughs> now, something else I am going to make you aware of, and uh, this is something that Sinclair you would pick up on because of the war domain. Right. Um, Events. Mm-hmm. Um, and. It's up to you whether you share this with the group, but I am going to go ahead and just say it here so that uh, you don't have to repeat all of it, whatever you do share. Okay? Okay. <coughs> all right, now. You, that evening, as you're sitting around the campfire after they've all arrived here, you stare into the flames a moment and you begin begin to become aware of something. Um, for the sake of, of naming it, for making it easier, we'll refer to it as the Devil's War. Now, you receive a vision of this war beginning on a cold spring evening in the sky over Amet, which is the capital city of Amadar, the largest world in Amatsuchi. You see devils still reveling in their conquest as they look up into the night sky and see the glint of towers reflecting above them. And then as they see a titan standing hundreds of feet tall, glowing blue, looming down on their world with displeasure in his eyes. You hear a booming voice from the heavens, magnified by magic. Devils, return from where you came. Get back to your hellish domain and leave this world in peace. You will not be asked again. Some of the lesser devils you watch as they kind of look at each other nervously, fearing that there's going to be another battle while other more powerful devils chuckle and shrug, thinking there's no way that anyone's going to challenge them. The largest among them, laughing and bellowing and reveling in their conquest, call out with their own magic, saying that they will not flee, and that if any enemy sets foot on their new world, they will tear its flesh from its bones. Five long, silent minutes pass in orbit as the Navy of the Titans awaits a command. In the end, Sveltnum simply nods without speaking. And in your eyes you see as no enemy of the devils sets foot on their new world. Boulders the size of city blocks rain down from orbits. Cannonballs, the height of buildings, impale buildings leaving nothing but craters behind. Other towers rain down beams of fire and ice burning and freezing, huge swaths. Devils and citizens by the thousands die in minutes. And in the aftermath, you watch as the devils turn and flee. 
and you know that the Devil's War has just ended on that same cold spring evening in the sky over a place that was once called Amet. Amatsuchi is freed, but the city, there's nothing left. Mm. So, you watch as Sinclair just sort of staring at the fire very slowly reaches and clutches his heart. And it's almost as if he has like a heart attack as he feels the souls of the dead pile up upon him. And then he goes on and explains everything that just happened. That's now, horrible. just putting it in a scale here, so that you are all aware. Mm -hmm. The sphere of Amatsuchi has 14 worlds. So, especially Sinclair, being well acquainted now with war, would realize that although it is a terrible thing, they just vaporized one city to save 14 worlds. That doesn't seem too bad. Uh, when you're looking at numbers... Yeah, when, you, when you, you knew the people feel. living in that city... Yeah, yeah. now this, this, is, this is what I'm pointing out, is there, there are two elements to look at this. There is the personal element of, yeah, they just killed thousands and thousands of people but then also on the wider scale for anyone who's looking at the bigger picture they've just saved billions and billions of people Sinclair isn't gonna he's not gonna you know I mean he will uh, cry for the dead but he won't try and stop the Giants mm -hmm. And before we proceed from that moment, I'm going to go grab a drink. I'll be back in about two minutes, and then we'll all talk to you the same. You bastard! Sounds good. You're so do you share... Human? Do you share all of that, Doc? Yep. Oh, fuck. Uh, I can see the greater good behind it, but it... Still, it was anyone left alive from the city at all? There are... There are survivors. <sighs> Are you okay, Muff? Muff alone. Yeah. He's, he is saying that to uh, Sinclair? Yeah. He just, he just sort of says, I will be alright. I, I have a deeper connection with divine, with war. This would have been the perfect time for you to punch him in the face. <laughs> she hasn't said a word to him since they've caught up. Like this is the thing she said. Hmm? I would like to say I apologize for leaving without a word. For my people needed me. You can see the atrocities that have been given upon them by that blue disgusting bastard bastard <laughs> I thought we were your people I thought so too and you were but my people like him they needed help it was obvious that you didn't. Aww. Everything worked out for you all. It really didn't. But... You're lucky I found I've, the one that did. I've come to terms with it that... Oh, what's that? That's fucking feral. 
you pig. <sighs> what the fuck? That was me clearing my throat before I turned my mic yes. back on. Unfortunately, it was not before I turned my mic back on. Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, no shit. Uh, my sinuses. Did something die in your throat? Oh, my oh. sinuses are absolutely horrible. <sighs> <laughs> that was nasty. I think we should yeah. Just stop. Yeah, I'm gonna go uh, get my drink uh, now. <laughs> I feel sick. Ugh. <laughs> That's it's getting sexy. I want you to do it again. Hard <laughs> uh, tip. Uh, I managed to mute my mic before it got worse. Uh, okay. Uh, so where were we? I don't know. Traumatized? Fuck, oh, yeah. Traumatized. <laughs> okay, well, we're, we're right where I plan on us being at this point, then. Um, yeah. Someone so. peeing? It's not, no. yeah. <laughs> no, I am not. I will show you what I am doing. I think he's pouring. Oh, oh shit, okay. that's a tank. Okay. That is a pitcher of iced tea. Yeah, there you go. It's hmm? good stuff. Yeah. I'm filling up my glass from the pitcher. Is there anything else you want to shock us with tonight? <laughs> like, sound wise. <laughs> or are we done? Oh, sorry, I forgot to change my diaper. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure there'll be more. I'm sure there'll be more. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Yes, yes, we went down. She's gonna Literally. die. Fucking hell. Yeah, he's gonna find you. He's gonna kill you slowly. Apparently, we're all 12. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Today we are. Yeah. No, I want you. Fuck you. I'm 12 and now I want to be. Alright, so. I'm 12 and what is this? What is what? I don't know. What is any, any of this? Yeah, exactly. What's life? What so, is life? Yeah. We free Grom. Free yes. Grom. Yeah. Free Grom. I, I, I would say, however, that I would try to get more information about clowns. Uh, like, there's the soldiers. Like, um, consider they are crystal during this town. Yeah. Um. Since would Sinclair let them know about? All of what he's discovered regarding absolutely, that. absolutely. All right. So basically, what Sinclair would catch you up on is the mm -hmm. fact that Sanshara has the reason that he started taking over Grom and taking it to people was to use them as fuel to create more of these experiments. <laughs> he he managed to using the ones that he had found discover the secret probably also using the prince's archive which he had access to mm -hmm. of of duplicating the experiments that created these and he decided that in order to make them the biggest strongest dumbest fighters he could Grumman were the perfect test subjects So, it, so would I, would I, from like the corpses and stuff like that, be able to somehow connect to this hive mind that he was talking to? Uh, give me an investigation roll. Yeah, yeah. I for all the no. Sorry, I haven't rolled for HP yet. Well, then you just don't get it. <laughs> oh, I was away. It was and away. through and through all of these fights that we have over these two weeks, none of them get away, unless they run like as soon as the fighting starts. Mm -hmm. you, do, you do get to check. a point where they begin doing that. You do notice that they start picking. Eleven. Up. Fuck me sideways. Um, you get the vague idea that you may be able to. But now roll me Arcana. Okay. Arcana. F fuck me sideways. No, thank you. <laughs> Maybe able to. I'm work. so proud of you. <laughs> fuck you. 
<laughs> even even with that, actually, it's not that difficult of a role. Um, you get the impression that you think you may be able to connect to this hive mind. Uh huh. But there is probably an issue with that. Why? You'd be connecting to Sanshara. Yeah, Sanshara controls the hive mind directly. But couldn't you be able to fight Sanshara? Well, yeah. you would have to fight Sanshara then. Yeah, yes. okay. Yeah. <laughs> I don't it, you, know that I mean, that's the best. You, you, uh... could, you could link yourself to the hive mind if you want to lower your defenses and let Sanshara directly into your head. Okay. H how about. Okay, sorry. Uh, when do I realize this in this war? Um, let's see. Another thing to think about is if you can block him from being connected, can you disconnect people from his? You actually figure it out quite early, about three days in. Oh, shit. In that case, Miss X will bring up, like, I think I can connect to all these creatures because they are like me. But I do not trust myself if I were to. I need to return to Wei if I were to connect to the hive mind, as you say, it's Sinclair. But I can... think I, I want someone with me. If I were to do that, in case something went wrong. You and Valley, I can go with you. Can you disconnect them? I do not know. Give me a medicine roll. Try disconnecting them if, if you can. If, if you could save my people, I would be in your debt. Mr. X, medicine roll? Medicine? You motherfucker. <laughs> what is this medicine you speak of? Yeah, yeah. Medicine? What are you talking about? Can't medicine. you, uh, prophesy? Hey, critting yeah. that bitch! Oh, critting one. that bitch! <laughs> yeah, motherfucker. No props required. You, no props. you, as you start looking through it, realize that you probably can disconnect them, but you also, in the same moment, realize that they're completely lobotomized. If you disconnect oh. them, there's nothing there. Oh. So he's already destroyed all of them. They're walking puppets. Yes. Well, well, you, restoration I, you know what? In order to tell, in order to, if this is happening on day three, I am telling my uh, my soldiers this to make sure that they have no qualms with killing them because they are no longer alive. No longer alive. You also very early on, uh, Mister X, because of that medicine roll, uh -huh. you you know that there are a number of of beings in you. Mm -hmm. And you come to the realization that for these amalgams to be as they are, you're guessing anywhere from 15 to 25 Grommen went into each one. Dude, this he dude is a monster. He That's... massacred them. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's... Well, Sinclair, you've been fighting him. You know at this point he's probably taken a third of the population of the world. I know. And... That's why we have to stop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fucking hell, yeah, I'm and all in Sinclair for that. Sinclair will... Sinclair will... If you give his soldiers guns, because he is, he's taught a number of them, like about... How many do, would you think that I have taught? Like 20, <laughs> 25? Um, between 12 and 24. 24, okay. Uh, uh, here, let's do... I can give one of them a sword to use until we uh, reach that magic number of we can actually arm them all properly. Three days. Fourteen. Fourteen of them is how many you've managed to try. Yeah. Alright, so if we could give... I mean, I have good... Fourteen good men who can use guns. I don't have any guns to give, unfortunately. I, I mean, again, Mr. X said, like, uh, he will try to get into the hive mind if someone were to accompany him. I don't think that's a good idea. I, I think Sanshara is a terrible, powerful man, uh -huh. and you cannot... You cannot we should yeah, fight then, him yeah, 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 that's why he's not doing it alone. He's doing it with someone who is 
fucking most powerful psychic in like the universe. <laughs> so that's why. Here's so, an idea. So you're going to go see me, but... Here's an idea. If we <laughs> disconnect them from Sanchara, you said you can disconnect them, right? Can you then to, to, reconnect yeah. them to Mr. X? Well, either to Mr. X or to Sinclair? Yeah, I mean, that's why I'm going there, because uh, I need to go there and f I actively talk to him and in fact, uh, actually ask him for advice. But he still needs help, because... That, or can you just detonate the entire With With thing? that question about re-adding re them to someone else being asked, um, X, give me one more Arcana roll. But I'm better than Arcana. Why? Well, they're can asking I, you can I assist them? No, 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 no. I want to use my prophecy roll. I ro want to use my prophecy roll. It's a 14 plus... Uh, what the fuck is my shit? Fuck that shit. Uh, it's my... You know, I'm going to plus 8. It's going to give him... No, no, no. It's it's right. It's right. It's right. It's all right. Shit. Fuck that shit. So, no, nothing happened. Well, we can add but to that's, 22. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Just do the math. Yeah. With that roll, um, you actually come to the realization, being quite familiar with the ritual yourself, mm -hmm. that what you think is probably going on here is that when the souls were removed, when they were lobotomized, the souls were encased in something else, which is what's basically being used as a remote. Mm -hmm. So disconnecting them disconnects them from the remote, but you couldn't reconnect them to something else without the soul anchor. It would take a soul-binding ritual to take control of them. Okay. In that case, he would say, uh, there's a way to disconnect them, but not to bring them to our use. And I would not like that either okay. way. Either way. We free ground. All right, yeah, so we free ground. We go to away? Let's go to away. Kill all the we crystal people. I, I mean, I'm not saying everyone needs to go to away. Okay. I'm just saying oh, that... Yeah. I'm just saying, one person at least, in case something's fucked well, up. Well, I mean, yeah, if you and Valiad go to way to study the the connection and whatnot, because we're eventually going to have to fight Sanchara. And if you think you can get information by going to way, then go to way. Yeah. I mean, we can still clear this out in two weeks. Uh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Valiad. So, from what, once you have been to way... Let me ask, where else are you planning on going within the first few months? Oh, me? Actually, yeah. Elven you, Armada. You mentioned the elves, yeah. The Elven Armada. And who else? Rocket Cass. Okay. Uh, what we'll do then is we're going to jump three months for now. And as we do... Madman, no. <laughs> um, um, I think I was muted. No. Sorry, go ahead, Ben. Oh, no, once I get access to my ship, I'd like to start tracking down where the remnants of people, bounty hunters that are left, that are kind of, like, stranded are. Okay. Like, that's just while we're going around mm -hmm. to all these other places. Yeah. Like, like I had said to you previously, you do manage to find a few of them, but... They're few and far between. They're not a cohesive force, and most of them seem to be signing on with other causes or other armies or other groups rather than fighting together. Yeah. Um, I wanted to get them to sign on with us. Uh, the thing See how many you can get. Um, yeah, unless you're actually going to them with an army which you don't really have just at the moment, most of them are looking at it as they're, 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 they're signing on for a war effort. And they're, they're joining 
a military force. I mean, we have a lot okay. of gold to hire mercenaries. I mean, if you really just want to throw money, there will be some that will join you. But for the most part, most of them are just basically trying to find a, a, a force to sign on with. We're not big enough to get more people. Yeah. So no, no, I, I'm, I'm saying we can well, support others. Like, no, join the Giants for 20,000 gold. Yeah, the thing, the thing of it being is, if you yes. had, if you had one of the armies with you, and then you went after the bounty hunters, you might get some of them. But going after the bounty hunters before you have any of the armies makes yes. it more difficult. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, I was only going after them first because you know, in the time it takes to get an army, they might already be sold off. But yeah, um, it's fine. Okay, now. As you are spending the first few months kind of traveling around, you you visit the elves. Uh, you spend a bit of time with the elves. Um, Tia, when the information that you get from the elves, for the most part, is that they they are fighting, but at the moment they are sandwiched between the arcane and the black army, and. They're not much use to anyone anywhere other than in that fight. Um, I'll ask them then if there's anything that we can do to help alleviate some of the pressure. Unless you can destroy Brawl or the Black Flow. What's the Black Flow? Could you post that um, map again, Casey? Of what would happen in five years if the giants did nothing? Yeah. What? what what's that? Okay, I sorry, I, I I missed all of this. I yeah, don't know it's okay. We'll catch you up. It's okay, buddy. I missed Don't that cry. map too. I will be right back. Good job, oh. guys. <laughs> I'm scared, Jamie. Well, the oh, chat kind of got. Madman has an excuse, Ben. What's yours? The oh. chat was the and we never made a new chat for this stuff. I didn't see a map when I was scrolling through, reading about what everybody didn't want to do. Ah, <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, shoot. I've lost it now. Hold on a minute. I might have it saved somewhere. I'm just and lazy. I mean, I'm pretty sure that everything that I wanted to try to do failed, so... Oh, I found it. Never mind, Casey. Right. Will you relink it for everyone else if you found it already then? Sure. What? I think she said Sheila. Sheila! Yeah. Oh, there we go. So this, this was the prediction of what Stoutman's mystics said that they thought would happen if they Ooh. did nothing. And what's the black flow? Uh, do you see the purple circle on the southern yeah, edge of the yeah. map? That is yeah. the black flow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what, they, what, what is it? Um, basically, what you, what you have known of it previous to this was that it was a maelstrom of uh, space storms and magical disturbances that nothing could pass through. No one had ever explored inside of it because no one could get into it and, and survive. Okay. But in the course of this, an army has started marching out of it. What kind of army? An army of Ethergaunt. What's that? Oh, shit. Yeah, that? Yes. Man. Oh, fuck. What is Me, it? Sadly. Wait, how did the Illithid have a dominion? I thought they were all dead. No, 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 no. That's not an Illithid. It says Illithid dominion about? on the map that you linked. Well, they actually, the that, pink? That, that, that pink? The Illithid dominion label is actually from where their dominion used to be. But oh. the pink is the new Illithid empire. Yeah, I thought all the Illithid were dead and gone. Yes, you did. The six alive. 
Okay, so some, what's some, the blue? Some of the group were aware triangle? that some had survived. The blue is the new arcane empire. That is an Ethergaunt, by the way. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, Ethergaunts are fucking badass, and we should not fuck with them. And the red are the devils. I'm guessing. Yes. And pink. So it'd be easier to go for the arcane. Then. Pink's the pink's the illithid. Pink is the uh, new illithid empire. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Go through the through all the colors. Okay. Purple uh -huh. is the Vadoni Empire. Okay. Pink is the new Illithid Empire. Red is the Devils. Black is the Black Army, the Ethergaunt. Green is the Elves. Blue is the new Arcane Empire, and the gray area, kind of in the middle is the neutral territory established by um, Sir Nihold. And the purple? I said the purple first, that was the Vodoni. The Vodoni. Oh shit, okay, they are just I started with the purple. Business. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Well, shit. Okay, and that's like, how much in the Five future? years? That's, that's what the giant seers predicted. Uh, would be the case in five years time if the giants did nothing Okay So what about all this Wait. unclaimed space? Areas that they haven't gotten to yet in five years Okay That's not like a final position. That's just literally the the rate of what would fall in five years Mm-hmm <clears throat> All right, uh, if I might say just the blanket statement here. Mm -hmm. Sinclair, Sinclair believes the single best thing we could possibly do besides gathering allies, and I really think the only thing that could help besides gathering allies, is killing Sanjara and taking the Rod of Law away from him. Uh huh. <laughs> that sounds like pain. So it really does. <laughs> um. <laughs> Any suggestions of how we could possibly do that? <laughs> um, how time, old are you? Each <laughs> time Doc says something, like, in case, like, I just gotta pee. It's hilarious. So the answer on how do, how do we supposed to do that? Uh, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Get as many allies as we can and attack Brawl from all sides. While he's distracted, we go inside with a small force, us, and we go inside his place and kill him. I don't feel like we're strong enough to take out Sin Sarah. We, we need to get him more allies if that is our plan. I can see I'm a not saying. monster in way. If we need that. Sure, but I'm not saying we we shouldn't um we should necessarily kill him the first thing. I'm saying we should we should put it on the docket and do no. it before this this whole thing blows out of proportion. It is out of yeah. proportion. I, we should I'm, definitely kill him, yes. I'm going to roll us forward a bit now. Uh, because we are getting a little bit bogged down. Uh -huh. And over the next few months, you do meet with the elves, as I said. Uh, you do visit Wei. You spend some time there trying to figure out what happened, only to find it empty. Oh. Um, you do... Crisis! Meet, uh, who else did you have on the list, Jamie? Remind me. Fire yeah. swords, Feywild forces, bards... Okay. I have explained most of them. You said that we'll get back to some of them. Yeah. Um, In chat. So the monks. They wild rum and Rhaegar. Right. The fiery swords. We'll the fiery swords. I, I told you what happened there. Uh, mm -hmm. They are. They are willing to fight. They are fighting. Uh, the elven armada. I've let you know what would happen there. Uh, the rock of Cass. You do speak to Sir Nihold, and he informs you basically, as I said, that. If they make any, uh, they have declared neutrality. Uh, they will not. They will basically not attack anyone as long as they are not attacked by anyone. They're America in World War Two. 
basically. Oh. Um, and as that's going on, that does Doc. take you. What's your comment? That, that does oh, yeah. take you a few months' time to. Uh, no to comment. Take, to take that through. As that is happening, Sinclair, you are aware of these wars that are going on around you. Um, you are aware that Speltnum's forces managed to clear out over the next three to six months almost the entirety of the Devil's forces, driving them back. You also are then aware that Speltnum splits his force and sends part of his fleet down through the Lost Spheres path towards the Vidoni, and the other part through what was once known as the Brain Eater Flow towards the Illithin. Yeah, Doc didn't hear that. No. I am going to skip us forward to where we are nearing the end of the first year. Oh. So, the one change from what I had previously is Grom. Obviously, you have liberated that. Uh, so, I'll make a note of that on the map. Uh, Casey, when do I actually return? How long does the Atlantean effect uh, take? That uh, is going to take you the majority of the first year. So, you will be returning about uh, the, the time that we catch back up here. All right. Yay! <laughs> You also return with word of the Rigar's stance and things. Yeah. Um, I'm curious. You, you have actually ended up having to leave um, covertly. Yeah. You, you were yeah, actually no, uh, instructed not to leave. You do know that the Rigar are preparing the Rigon priests for a grand ritual which will relocate Atlantean. Relocate it? Do I know where? No. Okay. They are planning to well, move the sphere. I personally don't give a flying shit. They can burn in hell for all I care. You are aware that I changed DT, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's a good thing, too. So yeah, af <laughs> yeah, after the first year, working. this is where things stand. Okay. So we have a monkey. You have a monkey, yes. That's going to be the not first a monkey. Words, I He's an ape. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a monkey, it's an ape. It's an ape. Yes. Can, might I inquire where you have gotten said ape? This is our previous captain, now demigod. Uh, corn. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't seem very strong. Uh, strong is an objective word. It's not very objective in my opinion. It is. <laughs> I believe what you consider strong. I consider everyone strong. Oh, I was thinking of physical strength. I know. I was <laughs> everyone stronger than me. So he doesn't seem very strong to be a demigod for apes. I would assume that apes were very much stronger. I don't know, he's pretty strong. He's, uh, he's, he's up there. He, he goes to the gym. He works out. Sure, I've never <laughs> seen a piss of monkey in the gym. He's very hard. I mean, I he lifts. He goes to the gym, he works out. <laughs> he lifts what... very big bananas. That was sidetracked with Hume while we're waiting for Doc, but uh, yeah, I'll tell you guys and I'll also tell you what happened to me. Uh, those that don't know, I was thrown out of my home planet, I changed my god, I hate the fuckers, and I sworn my fealty to Tierwin. Wait. No pressure. I'm not... Ah, uh, okay, I'm back. I'm okay, so sorry so about that. Okay, so <laughs> went from captain to deity. There you go. <laughs> No, no, no. So, no, no. Uh, yeah. no, no. I, no, no. Hopefully for he's you. He's not worshipping me. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so. No. Uh, for my I, I uh, so, so, could you, could you just, I remember you said something about Sinclair before I, I was, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was just having a, a laugh because my character returns and I'm like going to look at the team and it's like, we have a monkey. And she's going to uh, say that you're a No. <laughs> 
Casey, you said something about Sinclair, something about war, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, basically but, what I was saying was that Sinclair is able to, using his, his war domain, keep track of how the war is going. Right, and right, okay. basically, after the first, or nearing the end of the first year, the map that I've now moved you to is an example of, of where you stand. Um, the only change is um, Grom, which I had originally marked in blue, which is not in blue now. Nope. Your cause, okay. Uh... I would like to, over the course of the year, just really quickly, have Grom join the Elven Armada. Ha he ha ha. Um, <laughs> ha he ha I'm not ha. sure how you would be able to do that. So there's no way for Grom to petition to join to be under protection of the Elven Armada? Well, as it stands at the moment, they would, the, the Armada is basically... Um, they, they will basically tell you they're too far away. Okay. They, they, can't, well, they can't get to Grom right now. Then Grom will, Grom will try and protect itself then. Uh, do we get money from the ship to supply the troops and training on Grom. Yes or no? Yeah. I will I will allow everybody to use Grom as a training ground and a free sphere for everybody to basically create a, uh, an army. Uh -huh. Sure. Why not? Let's give this is throw money at Grom. Amazing. Then do that. Okay. Fantastic. So we're working on a free Grom. Yeah. Let's check free Grom. Um yeah, am I okay to just use some money to find God still for my thing as well? <laughs> Can you uh, use my mind to find God? Thank you very much. <laughs> I mean, like, I would okay. say that every church in the world would say yes. I don't yes, think it matters. They we're, we're towards the end. Where it is basically just a balance happening, so it won't matter at all. Ah, uh, Goran. Pretty much I say everything heard? right now. Have you heard from Varian? No. Okay, just wondering. I you haven't heard. I Where is he? I sent him a message through space and time, and I believe that it was received, but I never heard back. Dear, where is Vorian? But I could feel his smile, though. <laughs> um, he's dealing with something at the moment. He's gone. What things? His Yo. stupid aesthetic and her stupid desires and her stupid spell jammer. Not that I'm jealous or anything. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Oh, gee, jealous. Okay, no, not jealous. Got it. No, not jealous. No. Nope. Nope. Does it need help? Yeah. Are you sure? That just hmm? that just felt cold from all, all the way from over here. Yeah. Wow, I suck at rolling. Well... Yeah, you do. Okay. So what was, what was all the, um, the talk about getting the elves and the a as allies and all that? Like, allies in general. Basically, like, the, the what statement... Happened with that? The statement from the elves is that um, they're at war with the Black Army, they are fighting a guerrilla war with the, um, or a, a hit and run war rather, with uh, the Arcane. And while they're kind of pinned between those two forces, they can't really do a great deal to assist anyone else. So if we're able to get some more force, we can attack one of the fronts at least. So then what we need to do then is get forces that aren't on this map. Oop, gee, I'm sorry. 
get forces that aren't on this map and uh, work on fighting the Arcanes or the Arcane or the uh, or the Black people. Wouldn't that, wouldn't it just Oh, you're racist. You, the black people. Wouldn't we we just, or the Ezegans. Wouldn't just be getting divine, which is in an unnatural infinite battle with demons anyhow, to help out in this the war, demons, maybe. Just, uh, demons are gone. Are they handled? Sorry, I didn't... The demons that and part. devils are gone. Devils. There are no de devils. demons and devils are gone. Yeah, there are no demons. Devils. Devils. Yeah. yeah. There are no You didn't say you devils. I'm really <laughs> worried about the Vodolny of Empire, though. We can deal with them soon. Don't worry about them. <laughs> we have an entire campaign to deal with them. <laughs> <laughs> well said, Doc. Well said. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it is ironic that um, there is a little world there called Tide that just got conquered. Yeah. Lol. Lol. Did you say lol? Yeah. She said, at, uh, he said that out loud. She said anyway. That. She said lol. What so the fuck? So we, we could go to the, uh, the dragons. No. Dragons. There is also still the Feywild that you have not contacted. Yes. Feywilds, yes. dragons, dwarves. Feywilds, <sighs> dragons, dwarves. You wanna you wanna get on those three? For the yeah. coming ones? I reckon Still. we could s split it up, make it easier, quicker. Sure. Who wants to go contact dragons? I love dragons. Uh -huh. I mean I'll go. No issues with dragons. You good with dragons? Do you speak yeah, draconic? They, yeah, but they uh, I can talk to them for hours and they always listen. That's awesome. Um, I will... Actually, if we want to get Celestials involved... Continue. <laughs> we, could, we could try and get... Um, but they they probably wouldn't. They want to get involved with the material plane stuff. Which particular celestial? I see. Are you would I about? know? Would I know because of my status as a demigod? Would I be able to petition for celestials to help me in services? Basically, like fighting a war on the material plane. Most deities.